welcome to another Coach Dave Academy Lab Guide from myself, Kieran Harrison. Uh, again, once again, we're in the BMW M4 GT3 for another IMSA Lab Guide. Uh, this week it's week 11, and we're at Virginia International Raceway, or VIR, uh, which is actually one of my favourite tracks in the service. Um, so, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So there we go, that was the full speed lap around VIR in the BMW M M4 GT3. Um, I'm now just before the stop finish line um, and I'm going to take you around a lap step by step showing you all the driving lines and breaking points and things. Um, so we'll just get started straight away. So just head to turn one. Um, I'm always looking at these markers on the left and number two, just breaking slightly before we get there. There you go, just, you can just see me starting to break there. Just maybe a car length before we get to the two. We'll fall on the brakes. Um, and we got all the way down to second. I, I did find you can get away with first in this corner, but I, I preferred second because I was able to... It made, made the traction on the exit easier, which is kind of the key part. Uh, so you want to sort of trail brake into this first apex. Don't take too much of this kerb. But you can want to sort of nibble at it, as I do here. And then the key thing is to try and pick up the power quite early because the, the radius kind of widens as you go around. You've got to pick the power up early, but not too much so that you wash out wide. You want to try and get sort of back to this second kerb. You see here, I'm like half a car's width away, uh, and we end up following this sort of darker patch of tarmac that runs along the racing line. Um, you can be like getting slightly further back to the right here. That that works as well, but um, I got away with this because I carried so much speed through the exit of turn one that not getting it back across the right-hand side didn't cost me as much as I'd already gained. Um, so then this part, I like to end sort of in the middle of the track, maybe car's width away from the end from the inside curb. And then about halfway along the length of this curb, I'm braking, but it's sort of at the maximum, sort of the midpoint of this apex is where you're braking. You see, I stop braking here, sort of halfway through this first part of this corner. Um, and we let the car wash out down to third. I don't use all the track. I find that this darker patch on the outside is actually a bit less grippy. So we use some of it to widen the track, but I don't like to be on it for too long because uh, then you end up just understeering wide and it's, it's actually slower. Um, but we're aiming to get into this yellow and green curb and try and take as much of that as we can, really. So I get most of it here. Um, picking up the power quite early. Again, you can see, before I even get to this apex, I'm starting to get on the power. Uh, just trying to carry the speed. You can use all of this runoff. There's no off-track unless you go all the way under the grass. Um, so you should use as much as you can. Um, and then handily, the braking point that I'm using is just after, I, after the end of this curb, I'm braking. So I think it's pretty much, yeah. As the car, the rear of the car is in line with the the ending of this curb, back on the brakes, uh, down to second for the next part. For this one, I like to hit this inside curb. It's quite smooth, and it just sort of helps us get back to the left-hand side better for the following right-handers. Uh, so we're down to second, and then picking up the power in between. You can see I'm just 
picking it up there and then a briefly go full throttle nearly full throttle and then lifting a bit again use all of this inside curb uh, and i'm just modulating the throttle not because of traction issues really but it's just to make sure that i don't run out too wide i'm trying to basically steer the car with the throttle um because we're trying to aim for this apex we want to get it so that we can short shift to third around about now and then just go flat through the exit so you want to be able to wash out wide just about to this curb on the left hand side of the car here um, but then also have the car pointing back to the next apex curb as you can see here we take all of this i actually get a little bit of a slide um, actually the, the key thing to point out is you can see how much throttle i have on here and i go full throttle from now um, and then we can hold it through here i actually get a little slide this time just a small correction i have to do there um, but most of the time you can you can hold it flat and it doesn't slide if you get the line right um, but then we got this sort of short straight into this flat out section the key thing here is it's literally just to trim the track as much as much as possible you can see i'm kind of short cutting over the curbs as much as i can take a little bit of grass here and there uh, and then this right hand is flat as well but you just want to turn in late enough that you don't hit the inside curb i find that causes the car to understeer and then you struggle to get back to the right for the following left hander uh, but don't turn in too late either otherwise you have the same issues so just trying to be nice and gentle just avoid the curb but it is easy flat if you get the line right um, and just as we get back to the right hand side here after this pressed just as the car waits itself again we're getting on the brakes um, i go down to fourth um, and it's a bit of a weird corner i prefer not to take all of the yellow and green curb because I think it's such a short curb that you have to kind of shortcut over the grass here and then you just lose a bit of grip momentarily and then you end up washing out a bit more on the exit and you have to wait more to get on the power. So I'm trying to just take the grey curb um, and we actually have a bit of a gap here after we come off the brakes. You can see off, off the brakes here and before I pick up the power I'm just waiting. Um, and that's just so that I, I found that if I get on the power too early or I'm braking for too long here it just it causes the car to understeer i don't know if that's a weight transfer thing um, but just by rolling through the middle of the corner momentarily we can then pick up the power hard as you can see there uh, and then get a really good exit uh, again using all of this curb it, it ends there just as you come back on so just make sure you don't get two wheels on the grass because you struggle to get back on without an off track um, but then immediately back across to the left hand side and again we've got these helpful boards here i'm looking for the two board uh, and just before see there i'm just starting to brake uh from the driver you can see that it's pretty much as the two is about to go out of your line of sight you're just starting to brake um and you're braking quite hard i actually find the harder you brake um the more the abs helps you to not lose the rear mid corner so you want to kind of balance it you want to be braking hard to slow down quickly um but you've also got to be gentle enough to allow it to turn while trail braking um there's a fine balance you've got to kind of find i like to just miss this apex curb just on the flat part here and then we're running the car out wide pretty much to the edge of the track you can run all the way out um obviously it's slightly more risky because you're looking towards the apex you're not looking to the outside uh, so just get somewhere close to the edge of the track i only go down to second here um i did try it in first and that also works but i found again the traction was that much better in second i prefer to just stick in second um and then this second part of the corner we're trying to get the gray part of the curb again because the traction's so key on the exit here you don't want to unsettle the car at all by taking the yellow and green um so i'm just trying to effectively straighten the car as much as i can for the exit and get on the power as soon as possible you can see the point where i'm picking up the power is pretty much here before the final apex um and the, you just want to get on the power as soon as possible because this leads onto the big back straight um even more important than that is to try and maintain traction you don't want to hit the the traction control here um so i find in second it just makes it that much easier to kind of get the sweet spot with this and make sure you run all the way out wide if you if you need the track because this isn't an off track again the track limit is determined by the grass rather than the, the white line um, so then we just got this big back straight um to think about one of the more difficult corners on the track um so again we're looking at the two board um, and you want to be on the right side here because then the, the track goes left and you've got to turn left quite aggressively on the brakes uh, before the right so i'm braking just as we go past the two just starting to brake there and as we pass the two um and this is another one where you kind of you're braking hard to get the car stopped but you've got to be gentle enough that you that it allows the car to turn so you can see i brake hard and then i fade off the brakes as i'm turning left and then once we're straightening up again the braking 
pressure gets a bit heavier again. Um, the thing I'm looking for here is we're getting down. We want to get down to second gear, um, and you can use all of this inside curb if you need. Um, but the the main objective is to set it up so you can do the following corner flat out. Um, now you don't need to do a lot for that to happen. You just need to basically not run all the way out, so you can see I've left like half a car's width to the edge of the track. That's all you need to be able to do the next part flat. So we kind of short shift to third through here, and then it's just easily flat if you if you're on that decent line. Um, so that, that's all you need to do. You don't need to hold it too tight, and you do want to carry as much speed as you can through the right. So just make sure you leave half a car's width on the exit so you can go flat through the left. Um, and then we're just basically sitting on this curb until the last possible second. We start to point it into this apex. Again, through here, we want to take all of this curb because it helps to open up the following right. Um, and just before we get into the curb, I'm starting to lift and brake a little. Um, so they're off the throttle. Just braking gently down to third gear. Um, and then try and take a lot of this curb, but not all of it. If you take all of it, it, when you come back on the road, it bottoms the car out too much, and then you end up running wide. Um, I do actually, you'll notice I get a little little bit of oversteer. You can see my steering straight here, just a little bit of counter steer. Uh, but then as you go through the compression, it regains grip, so it's still easy to get on the power hard. You can see how hard I'm on the power still. Um, I actually carried maybe a little bit more speed than I would have liked through here. Um, but I found, compared to the Delta, I gained so much mid-corner that I basically was still profiting by the exit, even though... As you can see here, I'm running a bit wide, and I just dipped two wheels on the exit there. Um, a more ideal line, you'd be more in the middle of the road at this point here. You don't necessarily need to hit the second apex, because you can you have enough grip to go flat through, regardless of whether you're on the apex or not. But just a little tighter than I go through there. Um, but yeah, I still managed to maintain full throttle here, as you can see. Somehow the traction was, was good, um, and we managed to carry the speed all the way up to the line. Um, to deliver the lap. There we have it. That was the complete lap guide for the BMW GT3 at VIR. Um, I hope you found it useful as we head into week 11 of the IMSA series. Um, if you're like me, this track's such a such a joy to drive, um, as much as it is difficult. Um, the key thing I was finding really was just trying to maximise the exits from the slower corners, uh, particularly out of turn one and then onto the back straight, the oak tree corner. Where there isn't actually an oak tree anymore um but yeah if you can really maximize those exits you, you'll be setting yourself up for a good lap time um but yeah that's that's all from me so thank you for tuning in um if you need any more information on any of the services we provide at coach dave academy just check out the discord or the website and you find everything you need um but yeah that's all from me so i will see you in the next one